Welcome to the channel. I'm Randy. This is the Jacobs Triangle Homestead. Today we're back out here working on the house again. Today we're working on some of the details that goes along with the framing that we need to get done before we can get our framing inspection done. And what I'm going to be working on today is the tie downs, bolt downs, whatever you want to call it. These brackets, these are, I forget what they're called, they're HDU brackets, holds the structure of the house down to the foundation. You know, it's got a bolt that comes through the bottom here, down into the concrete, and then, you know, that goes onto a stud and holds the house down. We're going to be putting those in today. So, let's go ahead and get started putting some of these in. The brackets that were called for for our house is HDU2. Now, I don't know what the 2 stands for because HDU is this style bracket. I know the bigger the number is, the longer it is, but I don't know how Simpson, I don't know what Simpson means by it. There's two, there's five, I don't know, six, nine, I don't, don't remember the no other numbers. I do know the bigger the number is, the longer the bracket is. So anyways, that's the bracket. It comes with a hardware pack attached to it. Can you open up your hardware pack? comes with the saddle. That saddle will sit right down in there. Yep. Okay, it sits down in there. And then you've got your six holes there. So it comes with it. Comes with your six bolts. Follow them. Follow them. Get up there. Get up there. There you go. Six bolts. What it does not come with is you're not to hold it down. You have to provide your own nut. And of course the the bolt into the the concrete to bolt it down with. So let's go ahead and work on putting this in now. When we started this we got online looking for information about how to put these in. Simpson shows that there is supposed to be an air gap underneath this when it goes in there, but it doesn't say how much. Doing further looking through their documentation, I think I have discovered that it doesn't matter as long as there's an air gap. So, we're using a piece of 2x4 to provide an air gap underneath it. And yet, I'm going to slip that down over the bolt. What I've been doing is I've been putting the saddle on now. Because we start tightening it down and things, you know, kind of contort and twist, the saddle can get hard to put in. Get it all lined up there. Of course, I don't have a lot of room to drill, so I'm just going to run the bolts directly in. It does recommend, if possible, to pre drill, but since I can't get the drill in there, I'm going to just drive them in. What I do is I start one on the side, and then start one on the other side. Then pull your 2x4 out because your space underneath is established. The reason that there's an air space underneath here is because when you tighten the nut down, it's going to pull on this stud and compress your you know, base plate and your floor down to the concrete foundation underneath. The reason of it is to prevent the house from lifting in the event of, because I'm in California, an earthquake. So that's how you do it. I'm gonna put the, the other four hole. <laughs> I'm gonna put the other four four bolts in there, put my nut on, and then I'll show you how it's finished up. Get in here and get that on there. There you go.
So if you've got some of the HDU25, whatever the number is, brackets that you need to install, from what I can tell, that's how you do it, basically how you do it. You know, like I said, the Simpson Strong Tie website does show an air gap underneath it. If your bracket is smashed down on the base plate and it doesn't have enough of a load on the stud, it is possible for that stud to lift a little bit. And, you know, it's, once it lifts a little bit, it's going to allow the, the structure to move. And that's what's going to destroy your structure. So that is, as far as I can tell, understand, whatever you want to call it, that's why there's an air gap because then it preloads everything down to the concrete so that, you know, theoretically in an earthquake, tornado, heavy wind, event, whatever, the structure is not supposed to be able to move significantly. So I've got, I think, five more to do here inside the house and five or six to do out in the garage. So I'm going to get busy. I hope you found this helpful. And if you did find this helpful, give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below. Would you also consider subscribing? You can click on my logo right over here in the corner or down underneath, you know, the big red subscribe bar, you can click on that. That'll join you to my channel. It'll give you notifications. Oh, ring the ring the tinkle bell down there too. The, the jingle bell, whatever you want to call it. There's a bell down there. You click that and when you're subscribed, you will get notifications when I post new videos. So, I'm going to get back busy and until the next video, I'll see you guys.